Hi you guys, it's Mimsy here, long time no see. I've been super busy working on a restaurant design for a friend, so I haven't been around YouTube much lately. But today I'm gonna show you a project that I've been working on. I am putting rattan, or redoing a lampshade with rattan on the outside and then a cool pineapple fabric on the inside, like this one that you see here. So I'll give you a close up that and then I'm gonna show you how I did it. So let's get started. Okay, so here's another one and let me give you a close up of the rattan and then I used some spline for the outside edge and then the inside is this fun pineapple fabric and obviously that's the, it's sitting on the top so the pineapples are upside down but that's how they look here they are up close with the edge and there's the insides so that's how they'll look when they're hanging all right so let me show you how to do this so I'm going to explain to you why this has to be done in four separate sections. The reason why mine has to be done in four separate sections is because my lampshade is huge and my caning is only 18 inches. So if you have a small lampshade and a very wide piece of fabric like this, you might be able to get your lampshade covered in one single section. So what you do is you find the seam on your shade. So this seam here, you line up this seam at the edge of your fabric at the bottom and at the top and with a pencil and with your fabric the right side up. See, I've got pineapples on here so I want my pineapples to be right side up. Anyway, with your pencil, you start marking the edge of your lampshade as you roll the shade across your fabric. So like I said, if you have a small shade and a 54 inch wide piece of fabric, you can do this in one long piece and that one long piece will fit around your shade. But because mine is so huge, it's got to be done in pieces. So that was the bottom line, now I'll do the top line. Okay, so now I've got it marked, so here's my pencil line. And you can follow that pencil line and you see how it curves. Now I'll cut it out along that curve. And now this piece, this piece of fabric goes on the inside of my shade, but if I was doing this um, for the outside of my shade, I would then want to probably give myself another half inch allowance so that I could potentially wrap the fabric over to the inside. But mine is for the inside, so mine actually needs to be a little bit smaller. Okay, so you see that curved shape? That's the shape that your fabric needs to be in order to fit your lampshade. And now I'll cut this piece. So that's that. I'll show you how that works. Okay, so that is it. So if this was going to be the outside of my shade, then I would just use spray adhesive and glue that on. But this is actually the inside. So let's go to the caning. So I need to cut my other four pieces of cane for this one. But but that's all there is to it as far as if you're making a small lampshade and you have a wide piece of fabric, the next step would be glue this on and you you could be done. Okay, so here's the rattan. I ordered this from Frank's Cane Supply, and this is called the Radio Weave Cane, and it comes in different widths. This one is the 18 inch width, and I bought, I don't know how many yards. So the uh, lampshade, it has, uh, it's shaped like a bell. So the bottom, the bottom diameter is wider than the top diameter. So let me show you how that looks. So this is the shade and they're huge. This drum shade, it's not technically a drum shade, I guess. This shade is, the top diameter of this is 22 inches. So it's big. The bottom, is bigger so the bottom is 26 inches so you can't just roll this caning out around because it won't be flat at the top and also flat at the bottom because they're two different 
dimension. I'm gonna have to, I'll have to cover this shade in four separate sections. So what I'm gonna do is measure around the top and around the bottom and get the diameter of each and divide that by four so that I know how many, how big each of my sections need to be. I determined that my top portion is 20 inches and my bottom, a fourth of the bottom is, no, it was 18 and 21. I determined that a quarter of the top is 18 inches and the bottom is 21 inches. So what I did is rolled out my caning And one side I cut completely straight. Okay, so I roll out my cane and I'm making sure that this edge is lined up with the zero line. And on this side, I am gonna cut from the 18 line down to the 21. Okay, and I'm gonna do that four times. Okay, so I'm gonna start my first piece of caning at this seam and I'm gonna run hot glue down that seam and stick that on. And I'm starting my first piece with the straight cut on the seam and the angle cut over here. So then I've rolled it out and I'm going to glue with hot glue along the bottom edge and the top edge. And as I put the glue on, then I'll pull it real tight so that my caning like this, so my caning gets real taut. And what I should have done on this one, but it was the first one and I was struggling with it, but what I should have done is started this cane so that this end was closer to the bottom because now I've got a little bit here where I'm going to have to cut this cane off. I'm going to glue the top first. So I'm just gonna run a nice, generous bit of hot glue along the top, about halfway, and I'm gonna pull it real tight. And it is gonna squeeze out of there a little bit, but what I'm gonna do is once it's cooled off for just a sec, I'll take some of that off. And it dries completely matte and clear, so you don't even see it. Pulling real tight. Okay, now I'm gonna to switch to the other side. And what I'll do here is I will put the hot glue on the edge here. I'll pull not only this way around the shade, but I'm gonna pull this way so I get a nice tight shade. All right, so from here, I'm not gonna go all the way to the end here because I've gotta cut off a bit there. I'll show you here up close. You see how the edge of the shade is here and this end, so I'm gonna have to cut this like right about here. And these look like my good scissors, but they're not. Okay, now I can glue this edge down. I'm gonna go halfway with that because I don't want this, I want this to be flat, so I want to be able to hold it until it dries. And so you want to make sure you get the edges nice and flat as well so that you don't have any like bubble at the edge, at this edge. And that's, if you have fabric, it's a whole different thing, but this is the nature of rattan because it's rolled up for so long. And when I try, when I started this project, normally when you're working with rattan, like when I redo chairs that have rattan seats and backs, you soak the rattan so that it becomes more pliable and it's not as curly as this. And then when it dries, it shrinks up a bit. But my first shade, I did that and it didn't make any difference at all. It was difficult to work with wet. It didn't glue on real well wet. And so I decided to just put it on dry.
So take off any excess glue while it's still warm because once it dries completely, cools off completely, it's really much more difficult to take off any little hanging chads or, you know, bits left. Okay, so now I'm going to cut this off because it's just easier to work with when there's no overhang. And so you want to cut right at the edge of the lampshade, but be careful not to cut into the fabric of that lampshade. And remember, there's going to be a piece of this trim around the top and the bottom. This is the trim. Okay, so that's the first section. Now we'll start on the next one. Okay, so I'm gonna overlap this seam a little bit, and I'm just making sure that my rattan at the top and the bottom goes all the way to the, you know, covers the edge there and the edge there. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm just gonna glue this to that seam and make sure that I'm overlapping just a hair. And I only went halfway up the seam with glue so that I could make sure that I'm able to get a nice flat join here. If I had glued all the way up, I wouldn't be able to hold this seam down flat because it's too long. So I've got two pieces attached, one here, seam, and another one here. So I'm getting ready to do my third piece. Now this is the straight cut that I glued to the seam of the shade. So now I'm going to take my third piece and I'll use the straight cut here against that straight piece, glue that, and then over to here. Now my fourth piece, is going to be a little bit larger than one fourth of my shade because remember my first piece I cut or I attached it a little bit wrong and had to cut some off. So I'm gonna have to cut a new piece for this last one. So I'll measure from the edge of my fourth piece, which will be here, over to here, top and bottom, and cut my last piece to fit that exactly. So what I would suggest if you're gonna do a project like this where your shade is huge, and you have to do it in four sections, or if you have a smaller shade, but you still have to do it in two sections, because if you had a normal size lampshade with an 18 inch width of this rattan, you could probably do a regular size lampshade with just two pieces, you know, in half. So what I would suggest is to go ahead and make a pattern. So get some paper, some painter's paper, or a roll of craft paper, and cut it down to the same width as your cane, and then do the roll method on it, and roll it on your paper, and make yourself a paper pattern first, before you start cutting into cane, because this stuff is expensive. So that would be my suggestion. Um, if you are gonna do a project like this with caning, which can be a little costly, is make a paper pattern first, put it on here, make sure it fits great, and then use that to cut your cane.